I'm here at Otkin Point with Green Power Bus. And I have a great interview for you with the chairman, Fraser Atkinson, from Green Power, and all the details about this vehicle. I think it's going to be a game changer. The, the torque that would initially kick in on the vehicle. Yeah. And so you can reset all of that either in the settings or in the BMS system. But if we presented a vehicle that is like a Tesla sedan or, you know, where it has all the bells and whistles on, mm -hmm. most people that hop in this seat aren't familiar with that. No, they wouldn't know what And now do. they're, they're all distracted by the things that are different with their driving. Mm -hmm. So this is a great transition vehicle in that they can start with the settings that are closest to what they're familiar with. Mm -hmm. So if we have the regen brakes set at the lowest settings, where it's the least amount of power back in and the mm -hmm. least amount of stop when you take your, your foot off the accelerator, so to speak, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that then you're, uh, you know, that's what you're used to when you're driving your traditional mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that's vehicle. But I'm surprised but to see it. now you can change that. I mean, after you're familiar with it, you're saying, okay, we, it would be great if we could increase the range. Well, one of the ways is mm. increase the regen to the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, it's got a pretty good range with 300 kilometers, right? This? Mm -hmm. <coughs> is that real or is it? No, it, this, the, uh, our stated range is, uh, um, it, it's less than 300 kilometers. A little less? The, the next generation, the 2019 models, mm -hmm. this is a 2019, but what we build in 2019 mm -hmm. has 120 kilowatt of batteries. This is 100, oh, just, just 100. 100. Okay. And uh, we get a pretty decent bump in the energy density mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So mm -hmm. between the two of them, that's going to put us in pretty decent range. Who's supplying the batteries? Well, we get our. You know, we get our batteries from uh, ProGreen, JD Power, and Leashen. These, in this vehicle, they come from Leashen, mm -hmm. which is the same company that supplies BMW for their iCars. Oh, okay. Not the battery packs, we're talking about the yeah. actual battery cells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what are the different vehicles you hope there would be a market for? Well, we have, we've got two double-deckers here. Mm -hmm. One's around the Yeah, I know, they're service. great. Uh, we've got uh, the uh, 11 meter and nine and a half meter school bus, or mm -hmm. you know, 30, 36 and a half foot school bus. We have a uh, shuttle bus. We have uh, 30 foot, 35 foot, and 40 foot Volkswagen Transit. Okay. And of all of those, the only one that we don't have mm -hmm. on the street working for somebody is a 35 foot Volkswagen yeah. Transit. We're using in Victoria a handicap bus that is about this size. It's an Arbok Mobility. Yeah. And uh, the vehicle is uh, this come. This is a standard. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. Transit. The Transit mm -hmm. Plus is 100 inches wide, which is mm -hmm. the same width as an Arbok mm -hmm. Spirit of Mobility. Mm -hmm. And that vehicle has two ADA spots in the back mm -hmm. with the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Accessibility out of the oh, they do. the rear, mm -hmm. and then uh, twenty instead of one plus two, it's two plus two. Yeah. Entrance is here, so it's uh, very much in line with what they do with the mm. handy darts. Yeah. Is this uh, set in that position, or do they recline? They recline, and they actually this see that button there, which is yeah. on the outside. This button yeah. here, if yeah, you press it, it, you can yeah. slide this seat out. Oh, you could. So, so, so you can actually increase the gaps between these seats, mm -hmm. uh, which is which is what you want for both shuttle and tourist. Mm -hmm. That sounds very interesting. Yeah, I thought it would be maybe a little too big for ambulance service, but for handicap service buses, you know, there are quite a few in Victoria. I think it would be ideal for that. Well, on that, we've got the those four seats there set up on what, what is called stadium seating with that ramp on, mm -hmm. like that platform on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, if you took out the platform, this whole floor is flat. It's flat right through to the back. Oh, the back flat platform. You no, can. The, whole, the whole floor is flat. You put there is nothing that sticks up or That out. back could be taken out. Completely taken out and it's flat. Oh, that's that's mounted handy. on a flat floor. Deliberately, so you have yeah. a view from the back. Correct. 
the back seating. That's nice. Yeah. A lot of buses are designed this way. Yeah. Well, and, they, and and that's actually for not just the benefit of those people in the back row there who mm -hmm. now have much better views, view lines, but it also allows compartmentalization of the storage in the back. Oh right, you, it's safer. Otherwise, the stuff would be flying right. over here. Yeah. You 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 would have be uh, significantly. Uh, you know, restricted in terms of anything above that. Yeah. So now we can just, you know, somebody wants to have floor to ceiling and that, that top piece on the back mm -hmm. is our built-in AC unit from Thermal King. Yeah, yeah. And so most of the, a lot of these vehicles that would have an AC unit of that magnitude would be mounted into the roof. All that one. So that's all re retrofitted into the vehicle itself. Yeah. And that's the rear AC and then the regular AC is, mm -hmm. you know, for the, for climate in Victoria or Vancouver or for that matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is going to be more than adequate. Mm -hmm. You don't even need that. So how how long do you charge fast charger? How long? About one hour charging time, fast charger. The on a hundred kilowatt battery mm -hmm. if you run it down to 20% state of charge so you mm -hmm. need to get 80 kilowatts of mm -hmm. charging in if you're char hooked into a fast charge like a 50 or 40 or 50 then mm -hmm. you're looking at an hour and a half two hours okay. but this one thing that we did with this vehicle is we put an onboard charger and an inverter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the vehicle you know the, the charging port that's right here okay that's handy yeah it's actually kind of cool when you have a look at it. It mm -hmm. you know, can be set up for whatever, you know, CCS, combo, yeah. whatever, you know, whatever uh, configuration you're using it for. But part of it was to be able to go to any uh, mall or... Home, and plug home, it in. Yeah, you know, be able to plug it in. That's, that's smart, yeah, you need to have that flexibility, you know. And those tend to be pretty slow. Because when I canvassed a lot of the charging mm -hmm. systems around mm -hmm. here that aren't in a parquet, mm -hmm. you know, they're 6.2 kilowatt output. Yeah. So if you're having to charge uh, up, you know, re recharge the vehicle to get 80 kilowatts back in, well, mm -hmm. that's 12 hours. No, you can't do that. Pretty so, uh, well, you, have, you can do it. Well, yeah, you can, but it's not practical, right? No. What about your uh, motors there in the back? The drivetrain? Huh? Oh, under the controller that. is the TM. It's it's underneath the floor. In, okay, in the back. In the back. And um, um, do you have uh, just rear wheel drive, right? Correct. Two, not front rear wheel drive. It's a single drive motor. Okay. Uh, we we've got dual drive motors on our some of our top like the larger products yeah um, frankly when you when you include the combiner and everything else mm -hmm. you know, a single drive motor fitted to the size that you need is mm -hmm. uh, way more efficient mm -hmm. yeah okay. as far as energy consumption goes yeah yeah I mean we're not trying to drive this like 200 miles an hour like a Tesla no you're not driving it fast we're, yeah. we're, we're just trying to get you know, okay. From we a need to torque B. for hills. We need distance. We need speed on a highway. How many pre-orders do you have? Or orders? We our order book is a hundred and thirty, hundred and thirty to hundred and forty. Mm. And your production capability over one year? We're just ramping that up in uh, Southern California. We t took over a facility that we took possession on October first. I expect to start building this model oh, yeah. uh, initially at the rate of 10 a month and getting that up to 25 a month by that's pretty good within yeah. a year. And that's, that's pretty good. And then you're building the big one, the double decker and single here and there. And, well, yeah. But, I, but our, our focus is that you know, we think this will be a, a real runaway oh, yeah. success. So, so, what will be the price for this vehicle? 219.9 Canadian. Tax. It's on the it's on the voucher system. Um, mm -hmm. For you know anything under three hundred thousand on the uh, BC voucher is twenty grand, so it's mm -hmm. eligible for a twenty thousand dollar voucher. Okay. Um, the going back to your question on Handy Dart. Okay. When we compare the R Box Spirit of Mobility compared mm -hmm. to this vehicle, yeah. Uh, the 
either diesel or gasoline, the at today's rate is around uh, 65, 70,000 kilometers per year of usage, oh, which okay. is the standard for, that's the average of BC yeah, Transit. They're, they're always they're, busy. Yeah. They're, you know, they're published information. Using 65 to 70,000 kilometers a year, mm -hmm. the cost would be around $25,000 for, for diesel, diesel or gasoline. Or gasoline. Electricity yeah. in this, 4,000, 3,000 dollars. So, so over twenty thousand a, a year, we can, you know, we can make up that capex uh, right. against a Mercedes Sprinter or, you know, pretty much any Sprinter van configuration that you know is trying to deliver this. Yeah. In business, really, you want to provide comfort which you have with the reclining seat, and you want to get from A to B, and you want to uh, try to make the vehicle last and make make it worthwhile, make a profit, have a return for anybody who buys it. It's a no-brainer, right? It's going to be a ch it's going to change the industry for this type of vehicle. I think it's going to be a big hit. You know? Yeah, you hope so. We we believe so, not yeah. hope. We believe. Believe is better. We believe. Yeah. Surprise, surprise! I'm going to get to drive the bus. Alicia Park, you're good to go. That's good. Go for it. Good. It's very gentle response, so it's not like a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we really told good. we told we, we didn't we didn't want to go into a performance contest with Tesla. No, I think you lose. Did you have to stop a lot to uh, recharge on the way up, or? Well, this is fun. We had, we had the I didn't longest expect extension that. cord. Right. No, no, I drive the driving way, so very easy. No problem. But, um, did you have to overnight to charge up or what? No, no, we just, we, uh, we put it on the flatbed. Oh, you didn't drive us? No. Yeah, we had, uh, we got so many prior uh, engagements and stuff going on after the street that we, you know, we need to get it up here and get it back down. Where are us in California? Uh, we are from, uh, the, my office is in the greater Los Angeles area and this is in the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, one thing, there's no hill hold on this, so if you want to see, you will roll back. Yeah, I noticed. Well, that's okay. You can't have everything. But we, but we can put uh, hill holds just to program. So. Oh, I see. Program with an interlock. Mm. But people are used to uh, rolling back anyway. There aren't many cars made, except with you uh, and the sign So is this just a different? Um, Built from the ground up to be electric. That's the best way to go when you're purpose built, yes sir. So you can change the design to accommodate different industries. Uh, we can change the uh, interior configuration, uh, but um, so you can do a cargo vehicle. Uh, you can do um, you know an executive vehicle, such so as way less seats. Uh, it's totally up to the end user. RV. Uh, only if you want to go very short distances. I mean, you could you could do it uh, about 120 miles, so almost 200 kilometers. And what does it say? Do you have to have a, a 230 volts uh, charger, or can you do it on a trickle? Or? Uh, you could, in theory, do it on a trickle, but it's going to take you about 30 hours. Uh, the the 240. Um, a Clipper Creek CS100 charger. Uh, you can charge that, you know, at about 20 kilowatts an hour, um, right around five hours. Or you can do CCS combo charging and uh, charge in about an hour and a half. Uh, if you do the Clipper Creek charger, it's uh, J1772.
like from the shore you can see them? Uh, not very, very often. You gotta be out in the boat someplace, mostly that I know of. I've seen them from the ferry, back and forth to Vancouver. Maybe somebody else has seen them, I don't know. Yeah, my, dream, my dreams have not come true. It's hard to see right. uh, when you're on the land. Oh, yes, yeah. you know, there's some perks. No, that's just, just very seldom you see them from uh, 